Thanks, everybody. You know, folks, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Everyone is talking about Donald Trump's potentially epic summit with Kim Jong-un. It's the dispute of the ill-fitting suits. It's the men with the nukes putting up their dukes. In this corner, weighing in at 239 pounds, ha-ha. <laughs> with a terrible haircut, a man-child who had everything handed to him by his father. And in the other corner, the exact same thing. <laughs> Let's get ready to bumble. <laughs> the stakes are huge. In fact, Trump views the North Korea crisis as his great man of history moment. Yes, because the greatest presidents were honored. They, they end up on our currency. Donald Trump could end up on our hush money. <laughs> now, the president, the president is busy preparing for the possible summit by not preparing. According to one source, he thinks, just get me in the room with the guy and I'll figure it out. <laughs> He's gonna wing it with a nuclear madman. That's like your surgeon going, we're just gonna open you up and improvise. <laughs> Could I have the suggestion of an organ and a sharp object? I heard pancreas and broken bottle. Let's go. <laughs> but make no mistake, Donald Trump's not having a plan is all part of his plan. Because a source close to the president claims that during the war of insults between Trump and Kim last year, Trump's Tweets and little rocket man were pretty carefully calibrated. God, I wonder who that source was. <laughs> yes. Yes, the insults, the little rocket man, all just psychological warfare. I mean, who can forget how Reagan won the Cold War? Mr. Gorbachev, what's that weird purple thing on your head, Baldy? Now, we miss you, Ronnie. Ah. <laughs> now, Trump's <laughs> Ronald Reagan, Reagan Ronald fans. Reagan. <laughs> Let's do this one for the Gipper. Let's do this one for the Gipper. Trump's plan was that he wanted to demonstrate that he and the U.S. were unafraid. He wanted to show dominance over Kim. And if that doesn't work, he'll establish dominance by inflating his neck pouch. <laughs> yeah. It attracts the females. It attracts really? the females. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but if the talks don't go the way he wants, Trump has a surefire exit strategy. If the meeting when I'm there is not fruitful, I will respectfully leave the meeting. <laughs> what does he mean he'll leave if the meeting is not fruitful? I mean, do either of these guys look like they know what a fruit is? <laughs> of course. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've yeah, you've been a tune. You've been yeah. a tune. <laughs> of course, there are some doubts about the president's current attorney and man who's definitely seen the Trump sex tape, <laughs> Michael Cohen. Apparently, Trump and his advisors are increasingly worried that Cohen might be susceptible to cooperating with federal prosecutors. The obvious answer, Michael Cohen just pays himself $130,000 to shut up. <laughs> One Trump team lawyer says, Cohen's loyalty depends on how much prison time he's facing. I think for two years, or four years, or five years, Michael Cohen would be a stand-up guy. I think he'd tell them to go up a rope. I can guess how that would go. Hey, I heard somebody was here. Can I watch? Is that... Can I... Can I... Alleged, allegedly. Alleged, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. 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 Oh. The attorney continued, if they look at him and say, it's not two to four years, it's 18 to 22, then how loyal is he? Is he two years loyal? Is he 10 years loyal? Is he 15 years loyal? 15 years? Michael Cohen disclosed Sean Hannity's name in court after being asked twice. <laughs> He's not five minutes loyal. <laughs> and... Let's just pause a moment to notice that they have jumped immediately to whether Michael Cohen will turn state's evidence against the President of the United States to avoid jail time, which 
everybody believes is coming for at least one of these guys. The word innocent is nowhere in this conversation. <laughs> Even Justice is like, I'm blind, but I can smell fear. <laughs> but hey, it's true. They can smell fear. They can smell Justice fear. can smell fear. They're, They're like, like a dog. Like a dog, yeah. Justice is like a dog. She can smell fear. Mm. But hey, maybe Cohen won't flip. We're talking about the guy who tweeted earlier this month that he will always protect Trump and said in an interview, I'm the guy who would take a bullet for the president. Shh, Michael, don't give them any ideas. <laughs> and look, don't go fishing on Lake Tahoe. 